and I'm not really sure I even want to go to the gala, but I guess I have to. Oh, oh. When I asked you how you were doing, I, I didn't expect you to tell me your entire life story. Makers. Ah, sorry. There's just a lot going on in my life right now, and it was good to have someone to talk to who doesn't keep asking for dragon snacks. What about you? Me? Yeah, tell me about yourself. I'm sure you've had many adventures and stories of your own to tell. Are you calling me old? N no, not at all. I just thought that... I'm joking. I'm well aware of my age and my experience. We still have some time before the 13th day you people dread so much begins. So I suppose I could share some of my story. I come from Le Chayek, the land of adventures. I was raised by wolves in the big tree forest. Wolves? Yes, I never knew my real parents. But how did that work? Were they big wolves? Did they teach you how to read and do maps? They were my family, Dekia. And they were all killed by bandits when I was still young. I'm sorry, I didn't know. Of course you didn't. I swore revenge and left Big Tree. In my travels, I met a hermit living in the deepest glades of the Anthus Marsh, who taught me the ways of humans, introduced me to the glory of the Makers, and bestowed upon me the sword I now carry. With the tracking skills I learned in my youth, I eventually found the very same bandit group that slew my family, and I had my revenge. After I had cut down the last of the bandits, when going through their belongings, I found that they had been hired by a woman named Lai Vil. High Priestess Lai Vil, the advisor to the Holy Throne. It was her who was responsible for my family's death. And so I travelled the breath of Le Shayek, gathering allies and training, in order to ultimately infiltrate the Dark Palace in the city of Riax Makin, the seat of the Holy Watch of Le Shayek. The Dark Palace? The use of the element of darkness is very prominent in Le Shayek. I believe the Dark Palace was named thus by our ancestors in a rather less creative time. But don't you worship the uh, makers? The Makers are not the same as magic, Dekia. Just because we have an affinity for a specific element does not mean we do not worship the Makers equally. Ah, oh, I see. Anyway, eventually our party of I, Yuanta Dens, the Sorcerer, Don Fei, the Healer, A.S. Mhar, the Bard, and Pulling Strings, the Archer, infiltrated the Dark Palace under the guise of pilgrims. We confronted the High Priestess with her heresy, and as I prepared to behead her before the Holy Throne, my sword burst with the vibrance of the Makers, and all in attendance watched as it, guided by the Makers, eradicated that evil from our lands. Whoa. Afterward, we were hailed as heroes, saviors of the Holy Watch of Le Shayek. With a period of peace, Don Fate and I married and settled down in the outskirts of Riax Makin. But the peace could not last forever. After many years of harmony, word came that A.S. and Pulin had gone missing during a routine pilgrimage to the shrines of the Makers. Turns out, the Priest of the Light had somehow come into unimaginable power. The Holy Throne requested the Fate family to once more come to its aid. Thus began my quest to stop Brightest Song, the priest, spending many, many years, ultimately concluding with his destruction and the salvation of Lore. Whoa, that's a lot to take in. My story was longer. It wasn't a competition. Thank you, Yuanta. I feel like I know you a little better now. I'm sure with our combined abilities we'll be able to put a stop to whatever threatens Lore next. Perhaps. It's very late, Dekia. While this was educational, I really must head to bed. You should too. Right. Tomorrow is a big day. Good night, Yuanta.
I'll need about 10 to 20 people in the Eastern Barricade. Stat. It can be whoever. Archers without assignments, please head over to the Western Walls. Guardians, please report to Adam. Come on, people. This is not a drill. Would you look at that? Dekia. I need Dekia. Has anyone seen him? Right behind you. Oh, <laughs> I didn't see you there. Good. Sorry. Um... I believe you'd want to take it from here. It's alright, you're doing a great. Wait. Hold on. I feel like... Thank you. After... Ash, wait, something is wrong. After last time, I need to be stronger. This has already happened. Understood. Ash? <laughs> okay, this is getting creepy. Huh? This is different. Who's there? Show yourself, fiend! I hear your cries! You want her? Uh... I'm the one asking questions. Why have you brought me here to this place? And so suddenly, do you want to give me a heart attack? Is this what you want? Wait... I'm Yuanta, also a hero and an adventurer. And I come in confusion. Where are we? Alright, so now you're gonna mention your grandson. I was on my way to my- How do you know about him? Oh. Oh! This is different too! What do you know about my grandkids? You want that? It's me! I don't know what's happening, but- Just You will rue the day you kidnap me, fiend! You want that? Stop! Alright, fighting the righteous Yuanta. I love the music, by the way. Okay, she has high mobility resistance. Um, she's going to start by defending, so stunning her is not really going to work, and we won't be able to hit her much after this turn, so we'll use this turn to apply a nice damage over time effect. Now she defends, as predicted, and we are just going to copy her, we're going to do the same. Let's see, the defense of is the defense successful? It is. Then we can use this one skill which has a bonus to hit attached to it that can break through her defenses. Um, she's still defending, so uh, we're not going to waste any of our strong attacks and just now that our darkness shield has worn off, apply our earth shield to mitigate a lot of the damage as you can see in our HP bar. Um, yeah, let's, let's just try to hit her with this double strike. Ah, luckily the last one hits. I'd rather have that than if that first one hits, because now our triple strike is unlocked and she is no longer defending. I wish we could use our destiny weapon though, it would uh, deal a lot more damage, but she is resistant to light, so I'm afraid things are just... Uh, I'm afraid this is the best we can do. Now she defends again, which is very annoying, also because all of our shields need to cool, cool down before we can defend again. Uh, we're just going to have to try to do our best, just try and hit her with a single strike. Oh, luckily we do hit her. I think that gives her a minus, bo minus boost, so that her attacks are a little less powerful. Now we miss both our strikes. That's too bad. She applies daze, but we're not affected by it, alright. Just going to have to do another single strike, we miss unfortunately. Uh, it's just taking damage. Uh, she's still uh, defending for one turn, so we'll use this turn to apply a healing effect. And then we're ready to whack her again next turn when her defense is dropped. In that very small window. Uh, let's see. Lower her all resistance, yeah. Then our next strike will do even more damage. And since, since she's probably going to defend again soon, Let's reduce her bonus to hit so that she misses us, hopefully, even if we weren't to raise a shield. But we are probably also going to... No, we're first going to hit her with bonus to hit, now that the all resistance reducing effect is still in place. She misses due to our light skill, that's nice. We're going to even further increase the chance she misses by applying the darkness shield. She can't even touch us. We have two chances to hit her, the second hits again, that's very nice. Because now we can have three chances to hit her. 
Ah, and two out of three. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Ah, sadly, her huge strike hits this, and I wasn't defending at that point. Um, her defense has been dropped as well, though, so we'll apply in another damage over time effect. Let's see what skills we have ready now. And reduce her boost, then. That's the best skill we have for an attack at the moment. She has done her entire rotation again, defense again herself. Well, we're going to copy her with our Earth Shield this time. We're both at half of our HP bars. Things are, go are quite tense. Um, she's avoiding again, so I don't want to waste our Dragon's Wings skill on this, so... Try to hit her twice, then. Ah, they both miss. That's really a shame. We're afflicted with days. I think that may maybe her trying to stun us, but luckily we have enough ability resistance, it seems, for it to not take effect. We can hit her with our bonus to hit skill. The Dragon Eye is, it, I believe, called. Ah, but the, her days effect is in effect now. Ah, oh, two turns in a row. Oh, we're taking massive damage. Ah, man, I feel like a football commentator. <laughs> Uh, she is hittable right now, though, so we are going to take advantage of that. Uh, but she defends already. Oh, we're going to have to do that as well. And then uh, also heal a bit, because um, we can't uh, can't be uh, this low in the RHP bar. Okay, she will be able to hit us again next turn, but all of our shields are gone. She defends for two turns. Uh, we're just going to have to try and hit her. But we miss her shield is too good, man. Our MP is running low now as well. And we just miss. We're missing. And she's doing so much damage. We can hit her now, though. We'll first use our strongest attack. That's some nice damage, yes. And then we'll blind her again, which worked quite well last time. And she's defending again, okay. Uh, we will hit her with our Dragon Knife skill. That should hit, yes it does. We're both very low, she misses due to our blinding effect. It's nice. And then what, huh? Kind of a, maybe should, we should actually use a potion, but I feel kind of embarrassed using potions in this fight, so uh, I'm too prideful to do that. Uh, so we're just going to have to see if uh, if uh, me being too prideful for that is going to be a fatal mistake or not. We will use um, will we yeah we'll use our earth shield. That mitigates a lot of damage. Uh, since I'm too proud to use a mana potion, we're going to use a mana regeneration skill, because that's not cheating. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, it's a huge strike, but our earth shield blocks that adequately. We can attack her again right now, so first lower her resistance, so that the next strike does even more damage. Mm, damage over time effect, yeah, that's, that's tempting enough to do. And she defends again, we're going to do the same, but I think our damage over time effect might just kill her before she can even touch us again. Even if we miss this attack. Ooh, it's we got her anyway. Nice, okay. Hmm. Oh. She wasn't real. Hmm. Are you doing this, Avatars? Is this some kind of lesson? Because I'm not getting it. Outstanding. So you from the Chosen Two are the more capable one. I'm pleased to know. Who are you? Well, I guess you're one of the Malarus, yes? How about that? You're a clever one. It is a pleasure to meet you. I am Remthalus. Cool. I'm glad you've shown up so quickly. I was instructed to dispose of you and your group. Will you do it though? I'm not sure. The avatars have clearly stated that you are evil and you have to be dealt with, so there is this pressure of abiding by their rules. 
But I want to know what exactly you, the Malarus, have done that angers the Avatar so much. What evils you have committed so that I can feel good about myself and I defeat you. I need to know that my actions are justified. I... I didn't say that! What? Dreams reveal your true thoughts. I don't... I don't really think that! You... Dreams have no filter. Anything can happen within a dream. Dreams can change you. You put that in my head! Maybe. Maybe not. Dreams are so fascinating, are they not? You're in a dream right now. My dream. Or is it your dream? Imagine what would happen if you woke up and you were still in someone else's dream. What would happen if they woke up? Would the world stop existing? You wouldn't believe me if I told you about the dreams that I've seen, the dreams that I've experienced. I've been in so many of them. So many. Yet they slumber, but never dream. Oh, but if only they dreamt. Perhaps, Perhaps I would be able to change reality itself. Anyway, I got what I came for. You. I like you. I choose you. And because I'm feeling well rested today, here's some advice. Two of my colleagues are preparing something. Don't get your festive hopes up. We'll meet again. Soon. For now, enjoy this peaceful day. It's on me. Time to wake up. What? Are you going to sleep? <sighs> well, I'm never sleeping again. Dekia! Welcome, Welcome champions. champions. Oh, come on. What if I was on the toilet? Give us a little heads up before doing this. Avatars. A little respect, Dekia. Mm, they better first show some manners. Wait. You aren't that. You still have your armor on. Is this a problem? You sleep in your armor? Of course. From the moment I wake up, I'm ready for an adventure. Fair point. Uh -huh. We have summoned you here again, because another of the Malarus has revealed itself. I know. I just met him. Elaborate. He appeared in my dreams. Remphars. A water elf from the Abyssal tribe. The former devout of Katul Achu, the Dreamfarer. The spreader of lies. He, he said that today will be peaceful and something about festivals. Uh, I hate it when you forget what the dream was about moments after you wake up. Does that mean there won't be an invasion today? I... was I... was I looking forward to it? You spoke to it? Well, he did most of the talking. Have, have you been, been compromised? compromised? W wait, what? We have explicitly told you to dispose of the Malarus members, not to fraternize with them. I wasn't fraternizing. Calm yourself, Kiaros. You must be wary of the discourse with the Malarus. They will plant the seeds of doubt in your mind. These seeds are disrupted. When they are allowed to take root and grow, they reach the sky and cloud your judgment, and your judgment must be unwavering. So, so you're saying I have to be obedient to you? I can't make my own judgment? <gasps> Apologies for my outburst. Please, Avatars, tell me. What exactly have the Malarus done that's so horrible? All I remember from what you said before is that they are bad, bad, and they have to be dead, dead. I did not get that feeling from Sinisons. It was more confused than evil. And neither did I get that- They are evil, Dekia. They are bringers of chaos, of war, of destruction. Pity them if you wish. But be assured that should they be left to their devices, Lore would become uninhabitable. They must be destroyed. If you ask them why they do their deeds, you will receive a different answer from each. That the seed of their evil is the same. You must have faith, Dekia. The Makers know their enemies. There's no way to save them from this seed of evil. We will not interfere as long as you do your duty as our champion. One way or another, these threats must be neutralized. 
but you must not let doubt shadow your actions. For in that doubt, the seed flourishes. If the malarus were to escape your grasp through might or deception, the consequences will be dire. As to the matter of today. It seems that the impending malarus influence we detected has succeeded. Most curious. You may return for now, our champions. But we shall be watching. Well, that's one way to start the day.